Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review, we are looking at the Civil War version of Jimmy B, also known as Bucky or the Winter Soldier. And I have to say, this figure does a lot of things that the past figures just didn't get right. It does them very well. And then it does some things that almost every figure ever has done better. So it's another one of those figures where you're going to have to decide if it's worth getting for you. I'm going to give you the information you need to make that decision. So let's get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands at just about six and three quarter inches tall, which makes him just about 17 centimeters. And he is a Walmart exclusive. I want to point that out. So he might be hard to find for some people. They're starting to pop up all over the place though. I mean, at all of the Walmarts. So it shouldn't be too bad. Now here's the thing. People like Winter Soldier a whole bunch. They like Bucky, whichever way you want to call him. They like him. It's a decent figure, so I think he's probably going to get snatched up pretty quickly on the shelves. So you might have to do a little bit of hunting, but it's probably worth tracking down just because it looks really nice. The main thing to making it look nice is the head sculpt. I think it's a fantastic head sculpt. It looks so much like the actor. The paint job isn't doing it any favors. It's very basic, but the stubble and the somewhat accurately not all over the place painted eyes they look pretty nice and it doesn't hurt it looks really good yeah the paint would definitely go a long way if it was more realistic but it looks nice i'm very happy with it we have some shading in the hair so that's pretty good i love the head sculpt it's probably one of the best movie head sculpt the likenesses uh it's probably the best out of all of them it's really really good maybe only the hulk is better i don't know maybe uh, yeah, maybe those two. I don't know. I like it a whole bunch. So the head sculpt is really nice. We do have some new parts mixed with some old parts for the rest of the body. So uh, there's some stuff to go over, some stuff that's not so important. The arm does have a nice paint job on it with a little bit of a wash. The star looks okay, though not perfectly square. Uh, he does have some varying colors throughout here, so the paint's not terrible. Molded gun into the torso, not good. Hate that. Not only do I hate the fact that it's a molded accessory, but I mean, it doesn't even look good. It just looks like it's built into his chest armor, so that's not good. You can see a little bit more of the black painted back here up against the brown. Not too bad. Definitely could use more paint, but it doesn't scream that it needs it. It, it looks okay. Then you can see down here the boots are a different color than the pants, so it's not bad. I, I think it's all right. In terms of accessories, we have this knife, which we've seen before and it's just okay it's got a brown handle and a black blade that's fine then we also have this gun that we've seen before which has a brown handle and a black slide which doesn't look great but it's okay he doesn't hold either of them particularly well but you'll be able to get him to hold them well enough now in terms of articulation the head can lean pretty far back so that's good you can see you can look up pretty well he can look down, you can look side to side, and you can even lean the head from side to side to give him a little bit extra style, so that's nice. Shoulder articulation, really good, great range there. Full rotation, you get the bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, better than 90 degrees, so that's really good. For the wrist, we have the swivel and the hinge, no problems there. Let's do this side because it's a different sculpt. Let's see how it works. Not quite as good as the other side, but pretty well, I like that. Full rotation, bicep swivel. Let's try the double jointed elbow. Yep, that's good too. And this wrist also, this wrist, wow, can't talk. This wrist also has the swivel and the hinge. So that's pretty good. Ab crunch time, he's got an ab crunch. It's very well hidden. You don't notice it too much right there, but watch this. When you lean him back, it doesn't look great. Doesn't have the best range, but that's okay. But when you lean him forward from the front, it's fine. Really good range. As you keep going around to the side, it starts to look worse and worse and worse. And then, oh my goodness, what is that? What is that? I haven't seen a figure that had a joint like that in forever, maybe? I don't understand. I don't understand why that exists. That is the worst thing I've seen on anything in forever, I think. Not the worst. That's too harsh. It's bad, though. I don't get it. I don't get why they did that. It totally destroys the, the articulation of the figure. That is abomination level bad. I don't mean the figure. I mean the word abomination. Not good. For the waist twist, we have this belt, which is just solid black plastic, which doesn't really look great. It could use just the tiniest bit of paint to bring it to life, but we have a nice waist twist and a floaty belt, so I guess it's okay. The hips, 
They don't go super far out to the side, but definitely far enough and farther than most figures these days. They go pretty far forward, a little bit back, and then we have our thigh swivel. Double jointed knees work no problem at all. And then for the ankles, they go all the way back. Still pretty limited going forward. I don't know why they made them that way. You can trim out some of the plastic here to make it work better, but do that at your own risk. And then you have the ankle rocker. So all in all, it's a pretty solid figure with a couple of tiny issues and then one really big issue. But luckily that big issue is on the back. And if you don't bend him forward and look at the back, you won't notice it. So it's kind of really good with a couple of things that are really bad. It's going to be up to you whether you want to get it, but I think you probably should just because as he is, if you want to just pose him like that, it looks pretty darn good and I like it a whole bunch. So there you have it. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do all kinds of stuff here. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, lots of other things. So make sure you come back for that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.